Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you, except my head's getting chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Ask the Expert with me, James, and your favorite host, Nico, um, from Bumble and Bumble. We're so excited to be here with you guys. Whether you are watching this IRL, as the kids say, or, you know, later on when it streams, um, welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm James. I'm a stylist at Bumble. I'm excited to be here. Nice. Who are you, girl? <laughs> My name is Nico. Um, I'm equally as excited. You know, as you guys log in, uh, feel free to... Uh, send us a comment with your name and where you are tuning in from so that we can um, address you as needed. Uh, and maybe even customize the class based on your needs, but also feel free to ask questions as we go along. And we're here, of course, to talk about everything that's related to the Sumo family, both its history, the current um, products as they exist, uh, usage, and hopefully some tips and tricks to be able to um, get you guys to understand the products in a new uh, and useful way. So with that said, let's move on. All right. Yeah, so um, our objective today, today, like Nico said, we are gonna um, talk about the Sumo family and all of the heroes that live within it. Um, you know, we're going to get to share both of our favorite products and our favorite sumo stylers, um, how we use them in the salon and backstage, um, and maybe even give you a couple of little editorial secrets on top of that. I also really love that this family has a lot of like rich history and story with it. So we're definitely going to share um, some of the inspiration behind the products. Um, so hopefully uh, after you get to see all of our videos and the hands-on demos and um you know all that all answering all your questions you'll be able to walk away inspired so thanks for tuning in yeah so like i mentioned i actually wanted to give you guys a little bit of history as to where the sumo family was born the original product sumo wax does not exist anymore unfortunately but it did live in the line for uh tons and tons and tons of years um, our an editorial stylist that we worked with for equally as many years, his name is Laurent Philippon. He actually was in Japan and was invited to view a sumo wrestling match and was very, very fascinated with the way that the sumo wrestlers um, styled their hair. And he actually was given a backstage um, tour of the process itself and was really, like I mentioned, fascinated and wanted to recreate a very similar firm hold, high shine finish to a product. And so he actually brought this back to the States, to our product development, spoke to them, shared his inspiration, want, shared his idea, they worked on it, and that's how Sumo Wax was officially born, which again was a really great product. It had a lot of shine and a lot of hold. With that said though, we have plenty of other options with equally as much hold and equally as much shine or not in the lineup <laughs> itself. So the whole Sumo family is meant to shape, tame, mold, or hold like I mentioned, um, and the products currently that exist in the line is Semi-Sumo, Sumo Clay, Sumo Gel, and Sumo Tech, which you see photos of um, up here. And those are all in the pot. And then the Sumo Liquid Wax plus Finishing Spray is actually an aerosol, so it's in the can. And we will uh, break down each of these individually. All right, so starting with Semi Sumo, this is a high shine pomade that controls frizz, creates definition, and gives subtle hold for an elegant polished look. So like I mentioned, this is very low on hold, but high on shine. And you know, the really, I'm just gonna share a really perfect example of who this works well for. Um, if you happen to have those clients who are have gray hair, especially that type of gray hair that tends to get dull, but is still rather coarse. This is the perfect product for them. It actually makes their hair look lustrous and shiny and completely alive all over again. That's not the only individual, but that is one of the um, type of 
uh, textures that I personally love it on. It definitely works great to be able to give definition to any updo um, and to even be able to finish, you know, nowadays we're still doing that kind of beachy curl, curled wave that if you want to be able to give that more of a lived in look and separate it, but still be able to give it definition and shine, the semi sumo is perfect for that. So James is actually going to show us on the next video, some application and talk us through that process. Yeah. So here, this is me, my beautiful hands modeling on Stephanie, um, who is definitely one of my hair muses as of late. Um, Stephanie's hair is uh, high density, medium texture and high porosity. So that's why I'm really starting with my application right um, not at the roots, but just outside of the roots. That's where she's got a lot of porosity, a lot of dryness. So it's really going to absorb and um, hold this product in. And then I slowly start to work through her. And so I always feel like, you know, her haircut is curly. We use the razor. Um, oh, there I am getting the bangs. Yeah, I always feel like, you know, you want to think about like porosity levels within hair where you apply something that has a wax. And um Semi Sumo also has like a hydrating balm, so it's really moisturizing. Um, I think initially it can kind of feel a little, a little uh, intimidating in your hands because it is quite slippery. But once your hair absorbs all of that moisture, it leaves behind this really great definition, um, really showcasing the the haircut and all of the detail within it. Um, I always, I think, I remember the campaign when this came out and. The, it was like this cute little video of this girl who like woke up late for work and she popped out of bed and her hair was kind of like messy and tussled. And she used the semi sumo to just like run and rake the product through her hair. And it just kind of got rid of all of the fluffiness, the frizz, the flyaways and tamed it so that she could just kind of, you know, hop out of bed, pull her skirt down and head to work. Nice, good job, James. Uh, this is another great reference to be able to showcase this product. Um, you know, after you put the hair up in an updo, it's nice to go back through the surface and give it more texture, more definition and more shine by just kind of raking the semi sumo with your, with your fingers through the style, whether it's up, whether it's down the way that John, James just showed us, it's such a great product for that. I do wanna highlight uh, just a few of the key ingredients because you mentioned um, some of them. Um, in terms of the moisture aspect, but micro crystalline wax is what helps to define. And definitely I'm taking this right off of our notes section, but some of you like to understand product usage or excuse me, uh, ingredients. Uh, there's definitely a beeswax, which is a natural antioxidant that adds hold. And then there's canola oil and coconut oil, which adds shine. And that's where James was mentioning part of that moisture aspect. There are two oils in there that are helping to moisturize. Yeah, I think actually, can you go back, uh, Melissa, to that picture? So I feel like I love I'm a, I don't know about you, Nico, but I really love semi sumo like it is definitely like a go to uh, when I did this updo, they had just done fresh color on this model. Um, this was at a salon, I think in, in uh, Nashville, maybe. But um, I had like used all style and put a ton of Preta powder in her hair to make it like real fluffy and pillowy uh, for, you know, in order to like pin it up. And one of my favorite, like, like I said, we mentioned, we'll talk about some of our favorite editorial tricks, layering semi sumo on top of anything that has like, like uh, a drier texture, drier quality to it is going to really help expand and stretch the hair and the, the shape. So that's what gave me all these really great, like, pieces of light reflection, as you can see on the image in, on the right, um, that help to kind of really showcase that color. So anytime I have a client uh, who has like really vibrant color and they're, you know, lighter colors tend to um, be a little bit more drab uh, as far as like light reflection. So Semi Sumo, because of that hydrating balm that Nico talked about, ha really, really shows off those like ends, makes them look really healthy and wholesome. Um, so it's definitely one of my favorite go-tos. Nice. All right, moving on to Sumo Tech. So this is a flexible cream stock that's part wax, part paste, part cream. You know, we love it because it does have low shine, but it's such a nice hold that we generally tend to refer to it as this hybrid because of the part, the fact that it's part wax and part paste. It's kind of neither nor. Um, and it's beautiful. It works great on men tend to love it for sure. This is like a, a natural 
uh, bestseller for guys, uh, whether it's layered under tonic, grooming cream, or just used alone. I do like to use it on damp hair and then allow for it to dry in. But one of my tricks, if you were to use it on dry hair, would be to spread it through your palms, add a little bit of tonic or prep on top of that, and it'll help to emulsify it. And then it'll you'll be able to add it to dry hair with a bit more ease because it does have a bit of tack. So you have to become conscious of that. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some application uh, with James and have him walk you through this. Yeah, and um, so this is Paul. Paul has really that, he has like that hair texture that is like really super straight. He has like a medium density, but like the actual hair strand itself is coarse. So his hair tends to be really like pokey and like if you don't cut it right, it just like sticks out all over the place. Um, and so what I love about Sumo Tech is for his hair type specifically is that it the bend and the moisture in the product really allows for more shape than his hair normally would be able to handle without product. Um, it also dries like a product free finish. So, you know, you can kind of get your hands in there throughout the day. And one of my favorite stories is like, um, I, you know, I've been with Paul for 16 years and uh, I've been using Bumble products for that whole time. And Sumo Tech was the first product I bought him um, because I just like love the way it smells. Like I was like, I wish every man smelled like this. Like it's got one of those like fragrances, like super delish. So yeah, so as you can see, it's really showing off the shape of the haircut. Um, and you know, right there in that bang too, like you can kind of see where it normally it would just like lay flat or stick straight out there. That moisture in it gives it some nice flexibility and that memory as well. Yeah, I like how you kind of changed the style a couple of times and it looks great on him. That really showed off all the definition in the haircut that you gave him. Um, so this is actually Justin. I cut his hair uh, not too long ago. He had actually grown it out really long during pandemic and was finally ready to chop it off. And I did end up using that combination that I just mentioned, tonic while I was cutting, grooming cream when I finished, and also halfway through the haircut actually to, so that the hair starts to behave. And then Sumo Tech at the very end to help define. And he does have a strong um, wave slash curl pattern. And you can really see that it helped to define that um, really beautifully, which is great. I just want to highlight a couple more ingredients out of the Sumo Tech in case any of you are interested. There is a beeswax in there that's intended to be able to hold have the flexibility and for moisture control. And then the, um, the key ingredient is a polymer. So now this is when Bumble started using polymers to be able to give structure, hold and control. So that's really what's helping and what's giving it that elasticity is the combination of uh, both of those ingredients. Any thoughts? Yeah, go, oh, let's go back. Um, I <laughs> love that picture so much. I mean, Missy's like, let's get, come on girl, let's get. Uh, I think what, first of all, what stands out to me about this, Nico, is I know you cut, cut his hair. Um, I know we've worked with him backstage quite a bit um, as a photographer. And I feel like the shape really is quite beautiful on him, like the shape of the haircut. Do you Did you use razor or scissors or both? Yeah, razor. And majority of it was like square cut. You can even... Oddly enough, it's not as tapered as it looks because I tucked it behind his ear. You can see that length kind of poking out right over his ear. So if he wanted to, he can still show off that little bit of more of a shaggy feel. But just for this particular um, photo, we did happen to tuck it. Yeah. And again, too, when I think about key benefits, um, Sumo Tech is a low shine product. So it's not like this, this hollow matte image. You, you know, it really looks like well-behaved natural hair and the product again is, is helping to showcase all of the little details that you put into it um stunning beautiful thank you thank you all right <laughs> next we have sumo gel this is definitely going to be our high hold high shine so if you're looking for that extreme definition we call this a clear gel solid to be able to create clean styles with equally as much shine. So I personally definitely love this to be able to create those, um, those backstage looks where the hair looks like it's completely off the face as if it's a little bit damp. You see a lot of starlets wearing their hair like this nowadays on the red carpet. And this is the product that's gonna help hold it and keep it in place. And again, that's just one example. There's a myriad of examples. And actually James is gonna show you on one of his clients the way that he used it in the next video. 
Yeah, before we get into it, I just want to say this is my hands down all time favorite product for my hair type and hair texture. And the model that you're going to get to see um, has a very similar uh, uh, hair texture to to me. So um, I love it because, you know, Sumo Gel gives you all of the benefits of a gel. Like, so when you think about uh, mm -hmm. what benefits you get, hold, shine, um, shape and flexibility, but it dries like a pomade. So you can still get your hands in there and touch it and move it around. You don't get little crispies or flakes. There's no silicone in it. So like, I mean, I really just, I, I go through, like I stockpile bottle, like, um, you know, those six packs that we get like of this product. Cause it's like, I just, I know that like, if at some point, like I don't ever have it, I'll lose my mind, but it's my favorite. So this is your your desert island product, the one that you would take with you if it was the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, Missy, you can play the the video. So this is Jimmy. Um, again, similar hair texture, high density, high porosity. Um, I'm using ton. I had just finished cutting his hair, so I'll definitely post that to my Instagram later. Um, and I use tonic lotion to lay, put in a layer of moisture and I'm using a decent amount of sumo gel. So I would say probably like two nail fools. Now, Jimmy has the most density on the top of his head. So that's why I started there. And then I'm working in through the sides. Cause that's where like, when I'm using like a gel based product, um, I always kind of go into the area first that is gonna be the one that's gonna misbehave the most. So for me, it's the back of the head. like my back crown gets real squirrely and wild. Um, so for Jimmy, I put it on top because his hair will keep growing and growing without it. Um, again, it's gonna showcase all of the curl. You definitely wanna apply this on damp hair, uh, only because it is it is like a gel pomade mix. Like if you put on dry hair, it's, it's gonna really grab and catch. So some sort of dampness would be good. Um, unless you're doing one of those more like editorial looks, like I've definitely gone through and just, you know, slathered it on dry. Um, again, one of my favorite parts about this is hair texture like Jimmy's, hair texture like mine. Like you you can't wash it every day because it just will keep like fighting you and growing. So this product not having any silicone in it is super water soluble. Um, it will rinse out in the shower without shampoo. You could just even co-wash, which is what I've been um teaching Jimmy how to do, you know, with his hair. Uh, and yeah, so it's, again, I can't speak. Do you, do you use this product? Are you a fan of it? What's, what, what's the tea? I, I do exactly in that example that I used earlier with like that red carpet hair where I want oh, yeah. the surface to be, would be slicked back. It's a beautiful finish. And like you said, I usually go into it on dry hair, but you're going to make sure that it's going to show, right? It's not going to be easily as distributed. In that case, you're actually using it to showcase the product as opposed to have it just kind of set the hair. I just want to mention this guy is perfect in that he really is um, exactly very similar to your texture. I think I've seen you with this haircut before and I love that you used him and that, you, you know, it's great when you understand products from a personal level because you use them, right? You know what works on you and you know it's going to work on people with similar textures like yours, which is really amazing. Um, yeah. I would have to say the Sumo Tech is that if it, within this family, that's my product. And when it first came out, I was using it day in and day out because it was perfect for my texture hair. Similar to Roy, I feel like we have the same texture and we always tend to kind of gravitate towards similar products. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you look at the reference? Oh, well, there it is, that style I keep referring to. But this version is from you, which is beautiful. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I, I did this for um, a salon in Nebraska. It was a, a backstage styling class. Um, I had just come back from Paris where like all of the looks were like wet hair. Um, it was kind of like that same season we had in New York too, where like we were like misting the girl's hair down and putting the flowers in them at Parabo, Parabo Garung with Laurent. So it was like everything had this kind of wet sort of hydrated feel. And so I wanted to showcase that. And with this, um, I actually where the pearls are sitting, um, there's like a braid underneath it that I pinned the pearls to. Um, and so what was nice is that I used her density to help me kind of hide the shape of the braids so that I had a, an anchor to put those pearls in. Um, I went through like headband sections and I layered um, uh, 
nail uh, like a nail full of the sumo gel on each one when you're doing these red carpet looks and and i would love to hear some of your tidbits too nico but like um i i always want to brush it like a ponytail where you're trying to brush through the grain but what i would suggest is that when you put your next layer on top brush the hair on the surface first and just kind of um lightly press it and let the product grab the grain for you versus trying to push the comb and the brush through the section. Um, otherwise, because it is a gel base, you might get like, it might stick to your fingers or stick to your hands or stick to the brush. So that's just one little trick that I've learned in doing this. Um, and then the last one is like, it, when I do the front hairline, I try not to brush it. I just um, comb it through the hair and then place it with my hands. Um, so that way I can kind of make it feel a little bit more, more like natural. You can kind of, um, hide some, if, if the front hairline is a little light in density, you can kind of hide or mask some of that. So, you know, I, I just, I love this look. I think it's really, um, beautiful. And I mean, I've seen you do this multiple times and I've learned a lot from your process. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, I, I agree with everything that you said. It's funny when you, uh, before you mentioned that you do each one individually and that you brush first, that's exactly what ran through my head. It's like, you sometimes need to kind of get the hair in place first, then add the product and just lay it on top and lay it on top and lay it on top. Because if you, my, what my experience, cause I have done it this way. And unfortunately I did not love it is that I was applying and brushing as I went and brushing it into the previous sections. And all of a sudden it just became this one big mass that didn't look like hair anymore. So yeah. by doing each section individually, you can treat them individually and still kind of layer them and still get a little bit of nuance so that it, it still looks like a grain of hair and it's still going in the direction that you want it. So genius for you on figuring that one out on your own. Yeah, I, I also, not to like stay on this too much, but I, again, love those products so much. But um, I remember um, doing like trying to do like those wet comb marks in the hair and using this product to just like paint at the root and then using the wide tooth comb it is it is tricky like and i think maybe i learned that from your class like when we did the the ponytail with the back the back home ponytail thing was like and the holding spray like you know really being gentle with how you're brushing um because it can turn it like you said turn into a mass <laughs> All right, so moving on, we've got Sumo Clay. This is actually one of my newer favorite products just because of its performance. It's definitely going to be a true matte, lightweight clay that gives hair texture and a workable hold. So if you're looking for texture, 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 and matte, matte, matte. So it does have a hold, but very low, low, low to zero shine. When I say matte, it'll actually pull shine out if by chance you have too much sheen on the surface or you're looking to mattify something, or if someone produces too much oil and they don't like how shiny that looks, it can help to mattify that for sure. The, what really surprised me when I first used this product is how creamy it is. When I thought of a clay, I thought it was gonna be as tacky as the Sumo Tech and that I was gonna to need to emulsify it myself. It's already done for us because there are oils mixed into the, um, the clay itself. So it has this beautiful creamy texture that's so easy to apply, whether it's damp or dry. And whether the hair is long, short, male, female, I mean, this product is so versatile that I absolutely love it. It's such a great product for adding texture uh, and mattifying the hair. So we're gonna take a look, there you go. Yeah, so this is April. Um, she's a friend of mine. She's a ceramicist. I had just cut her hair into this like um, shaggy bob with lots of layers and bangs. And so uh, I'm using the sumo clay in her hair, getting into like the densest areas first. Now, um, sumo clay instantly absorbs into the hair. You can definitely feel the grab leave your fingers and be like transferred to the hair. So it's really great for like creating shape and mold. So I'm gonna go back in with another dose. April has finer textured hair and the razor really allows for um, a lot of like, I'm able to like build movement, but also build structure in her hair. And Sumo Clay is gonna help build density. So it's gonna hide those little weaker spots, show off the haircut, um, give it a lot of like detail and personality and volume. Um, she's so cute. So cute. You can instantly see how it like 
gave the uh, haircut fullness and shape and the texture came alive. It really, really is great. And it was such an easy application. I mean, you it's so, so easy for you to apply, which will be equally as easy for her to do at home as well. Great job. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, so I, here I am. I'm just, I just want to like play with the layers and like really kind of showcase how the more it absorbs into the hair, the more volume, the more control you can kind of get from it. Um, I like that it's, it's not going to make you feel like your hair is dirty, but it's going to give you this inc incredible volume and texture. Um, I really like it. Uh, I like it on like, you know, like those long beach waved girls with like the long layers. I'll use the sumo, sumo clay at the roots because it's, it is a matte finish. Like it's not going to make the roots look oily, but it helps to kind of pop the top as Roy likes to say. So it's definitely one of my favorite go-tos and, um, yeah. Make it pop. Make it pop. <laughs> just to, uh, let's take a look at the next reference, but just to uh, highlight some of those um, key ingredients, uh, the authentic clay that we talked about, there's also rice brand wax, as well as a polymer, and that is cold. There's also the uh, babasu oil. So I did mention, and that's very similar to coconut oil, and that's where the um, moisture and softness is coming from. And then there's one more, which is iron oxide, which obviously is going to help to create that very matte uh, kind of gray tint to the actual product and to the actual finish in it itself. Beautiful reference. Tell us about this. Yeah. So again, this was another, um, when we launched the sumos, like we were launching them in the salons. Like I think I did this look in, in a salon in um, Washington, DC. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we took her through a couple of different phases and finished with um, the, the knot in the back of the head is actually a rope braid, like a loose rope braid that was stretched out. And what I did was I took sumo gel in one palm and sumo clay in the other while I twisted them together. So that's kind of why you get this, like some parts have a lot of light reflection. Some parts look a little bit more matte and crisp. Um, but those, that like mixture of the two really kind of helped give me this, like pull the, the rope braid apart without it looking like it's actually like a rope braid on the back of her head. Um, yeah. And then I took, I took what was left of my hands. I think I might've used a little more sumo clay and just kind of raked it through the top to make it look less perfect, less, um, polished and a little bit more like lived in. So I feel like uh, I hear a lot of people love to use sumo clay for updos. Um, I know, you know, Brittany's talked about it when she's uh, she's working on her bridal class. So I definitely feel like it's it's a great product, especially to give you those like little wispies, you know, without them looking uh, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. I love this reference. I think you did such a great job and it's very quintessential uh, sumo clay because of that texture but I didn't know about the sumo gel. I love that you said that because there is a bit of sheen in some of those loops on the bun and that's obviously where it's coming from. What a great way to like marry the two products. Good job. Yeah, thanks. All right, and then last but not least, I mentioned that the first four come in the pot and you saw the application. This is gonna be more of an aerosol. We call it Sumo Liquid Wax Plus Finishing Spray. And it's definitely a texturizing spray wax for a very undone look with um, buildable separation is what we like to say. It does have a, a natural sheen or a natural finish to it with a light hold as well. But that also depends on what products you have underneath, what texture you're starting with, what their density is, but it's definitely gonna have more of a light to moderate hold uh, with a natural sheen finish. I love this product because for those of you that might find it difficult to, not difficult, but maybe don't want to go through the process of, you know, scooping product out of the pot, running it through your palms, and then raking it through your hair. This goes right into the hair very easily because you spray it right in. It's instant texture, definition, separation. It works beautiful on long hair uh, to be able to do that. Uh, but equally as well on short hair. I also like to put it in my palms and then run it through hair so that I can uh, control the application of it when necessary. Yeah, I feel like um, I remember when where, where the inspiration for this product came from, like when we were doing those shows backstage that were like, you know, people were kind of over the like the like drier, more matte, like beach wave kind of look, but they wanted that same sort of bend and movement into the hair, but they wanted some like, 
like a day two, day three sort of feel or look. And so I remember like, you know, if like the girl came in with the beanie on, um, you know, they, and they took it off, it'd be like, oh, that's perfect. This is the look, you know? So I really just like, I love this product. Um, it came out before Sumo Gel. So I definitely was like, I, this was my go-to before Sumo Gel came in and bumped it out. Now I like to use both of them quite a bit. Um, that hydrating balm is so, so like soothing in the hair, but again, really help for me, it helps to deflate. Like I like, I love that it helps to like kind of, uh, bring hair down a little bit and make it feel more natural. Nice. And just while we're on the subject for any of you that remember city swept, this is actually, um, city swept reincarnated. So if you happen to love city swept, this is going to be the product. So tell us about what you're doing here. Yeah. So again, this is Steph and I had blown her hair out with all of the volume products. Um, uh, great body blow dry, thickening mousse. Uh, yeah. Thickening volume mousse and thickening hairspray. So I'm spraying the, uh, the Sumo liquid spray wax, uh, wax onto the ends just to add to, to deflate all of that like curl and make the ends look more polished, more refined. Um, as you can see, it like brings out the shine in her hair. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it just is great. It's a, again, this was a great base. We took her into a, uh, like a cute little like French twist after this. Um, so really easy to like get all that surface texture under control. Beautiful. I love the finish. I love the texture. You know, I like that you said, even though there's still a lot of body and volume earlier, you mentioned the idea of deflating, you know, if by chance the hair is the silhouette of the hair is too big, the more product you use, the more condensed you can actually make it as well. If choose, if you choose to, but in this case, it still maintained all of your body and just gave it more separation so that you can see all of the work that you did in your curl. Uh, that you created on her in this finish. It's so nice. So let's yeah. look at some references actually, because I love these particular two references. Yeah, these are these are um, both images done by Mother of Curls. Um, her name is Michelle Velez, and she works at Alchemy Salon in, in Orlando. And I, I know, I think we both have taught there before. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just like, that girl is so amazing at her craft. She's great at cut cutting curly hair. Um, and these were the sub pictures that she submitted for a contest we had. Yeah, beautiful. I love these images. They're a perfect description of how the sumo liquid wax can be applied to uh, the long hair while it's down, but also if you choose to pin it up and still be able to show off the texture, the definition, uh, the depth that the product can create on the ends of the hair as well. So great job, um, Mother of Curls. I love both of these references. They're such beautiful images. Yeah, strong pictures too, you know, and and I think too, like there's like a fine line of like when hair gets, you know, like immovable where it's too wet. And I feel like this was able to give her um, good elasticity to the hair, right? To like showcase the pieces that she wanted to stick out, but not lose all of the volume and texture that she had created underneath it. Yeah. All right, so that brings us to the end of our Sumo family series. Just to remind you, we have Semi Sumo, which is low on hold, but high in shine. And then we have Sumo Tech, which is our little bit of a hybrid that's high on hold, but satin finish, so lower on the uh, shine end of the spectrum. And then we have the Sumo Gel, which is high hold, high shine. You're definitely going to get lots of um, hold and shine on that one. It's the highest uh, on both of the, those factors. And then we've got the Sumo Clay, which I personally love. It's definitely moderate hold, but the dullest on shine. It's very mattifying, zero, um, zero shine, basically. If anything, it'll remove shine. And then the last one, the Sumo Liquid Wax Plus Finishing Spray, also moderate on hold, but definitely has a really nice satin finish to it uh, that you can control the shine based on how much you use actually as well. Any thoughts, James? No, I love that. Perfect little recap. Um, yeah, I enjoyed got, getting to like go through these little um, vignettes and photos with you and you know, you know, I adore you girl. Thank you. Um, yeah. So 
If you aren't already, go ahead, make sure you follow us on Bumble Pro. You can scan the QR code here on the screen to take you right to our page on Instagram. Um, just open up your photo, uh, your photos um, and hold it over the little icon and it'll take you right there. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, feel, you know, both mine and Nico's Instagram handles are here. So feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Yeah. And if you happen to watch this um, after the fact, you can always send comments in the actual Facebook page and we'll be happy to answer them for you as well. So thank you, James. Great to see you. Uh, thank you to Missy as well as Kelly and Abby in the background. Uh, thank you, girls. Till next time.